Hey everyone, welcome to this lecture series on digital signal processing. This is the first video in the lecture series, and in this video, we will introduce ourselves to digital signal processing. Here is the outline of this video. We will see what is meant by digital signal processing. Then we'll talk about signals and their classifications. Later, we will see the block diagram of a DSP system, followed by the advantages, disadvantages, and applications of a DSP system. So, let's get started. What is digital signal processing? Digital signal processing is concerned with the representation of signals by a sequence of numbers or symbols and the processing of these sequences. There are three main points in this sentence signals, representation of signals, and processing of these signals. Signal What is a signal? A signal can be defined as a function that conveys information generally about the state or behavior of a physical system. For example, while I am speaking, I am generating audio signals using my vocal cords. For instance, when I say out the alphabet A, I am generating an audio signal that conveys the information of alphabet A. Mathematically, Signals are represented as functions of one or more independent variables. If we take the same example of audio signals, the amplitude of my voice can be plotted as a function of time. Time on the x-axis and the corresponding amplitude on the y-axis at each instance of time give us a signal. This signal is defined continuously in time and has continuous amplitudes making it an analog signal. Another form of signals is discrete signals, which are defined only at discrete units of time. To obtain discrete signals, we sample the analog signals at discrete units of time. Many people often confuse analog signals with continuous time signals. Analog signals and continuous time signals are not the same. Similarly, discrete signals and digital signals are not the same. The true name of this course should be discrete signal processing, as we are dealing only with discrete signals throughout the course. However, since universities around the world name it as digital signal processing, we use the same name. Signal processing Signal processing involves analyzing, modifying, and synthesizing signals to pull or extract meaning from them. Signal processing can be broadly classified into analog signal processing and digital signal processing. Analog signal processing deals with the transformation of analog signals using electrical networks consisting of active and passive elements such as OPMs, resistors, capacitors, inductors, etc. On the other hand, digital signal processing deals with the processing of discrete signals where processing is done by general-purpose computers or digital circuits. Now, let us understand the block diagram of a DSP system. There are mainly five blocks in the diagram, pre-filter, analog-to-digital converter, ADCs, digital signal processors, DSPs, digital to analog converters, DACs, and post filter. The pre-filter is usually a low-pass filter used to filter out unwanted high-frequency components from the raw analog input signal. The ADC converts analog signals to digital signals, which are then fed to the DSP for analysis and processing. The synthesized output is fed to the DAC, which converts digital signals back into analog signals. Finally, the post filter is used to filter out any unwanted high-frequency components in the generated analog signal. Often, amplifiers are provided at the beginning and end to amplify the incoming and outgoing signals. Applications of DSP Systems We use digital signal processing in many areas, processing speech and audio, 
including speech recognition, analysis, noise filtering, and echo cancellation. Processing image and video involving compression, enhancement, reconstruction, restoration, and phase detection. Military and telecommunication applications such as sonar, navigation, radar tracking, modulation, and demodulation. Biomedical and healthcare sector, for example, analysis of ECGs, EEGs, and X-ray signals. Consumer electronics, where most digital devices like smartphones, televisions, digital cameras, etc., have a DSP embedded to accelerate their performance. Advantages of DSP systems the main advantages of digital signal processing include simplicity compared to analog signal processing. Flexibility, as processing can be easily modified with simple changes in software. Access to error detection and correction features. Easy data storage and transport with digital storage devices. Disadvantages of DSP systems. Some disadvantages of DSP systems include higher power consumption due to the use of many transistors, higher learning curve required for operation, as each DSP has different hardware architecture and software instructions. Summary In summary, we defined a signal and learned that signals are primarily classified into analog signals and discrete signals. We then explored signal processing, which involves analyzing, modifying, and synthesizing signals. We saw the block diagram of DSP systems, followed by the applications, advantages, and disadvantages of DSP systems. I hope all the concepts taught in this lecture are clear. If anyone has any doubts, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Either we or some other viewer will surely help you out. If you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and have a great day.